guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a fun tag that's been going around for quite a while. Um, it's if I could only keep one item from every category. I believe Kelly Gooch started this tag a couple years ago, maybe like last year. And then I believe she like revamped it and redid it again this year. So now this is why this tag's been floating around again. So I will try to find Kelly's Kelly Gooch, I believe that's her name. I will try to find her video and I'll link it below. Um, so the point of this um, tag is to not necessarily pick your holy grails from each product. It's just to be practical and pick what, if you could only use this one item for the rest of your life, what would you choose? What would make the most sense and be practical? So let's go ahead. I'm actually wearing everything on my face. So if you wanna see you know, what I picked, keep watching. All right, so. Primer spray was easy. I went with the Scandinavia. Um, either the primer or the setting spray, it really doesn't matter to me. The ingredients are so similar, I just you know go back and forth. So before I do my, pri my primer, I always do the primer spray first. So I would choose the Scandinavia. And then for primer, I went with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, um, mostly because it's not matte, but it's also not luminous. So it basically just pills, pills it fills in the pores and just gives a smooth canvas so it's not gonna make me matte if you know when I'm a little drier it's not gonna make me more matte and dry and it's also not luminous so because I typically have you know more oily skin it's not going to add on to that oiliness and you know it's not gonna make me oily or luminous it's just going to give me a smooth canvas so that's why I went with the elf putty primer and then for foundation foundation was easy um, the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade F3. That's my perfect shade. Um, I really love this foundation. I know it's hit or miss for some people. For me, it's a big hit. Um, I like the doe foot applicator. I actually really enjoy the doe foot applicator. I know a lot of people hate it. They think it's um, you know unhygienic. I think it's no different than a concealer. But I really like this because I can just dot all over my face and blend out with my sponge. I don't have to you know get my fingers dirty and then you know. I just I like it um, and I like the packaging and the foundation in particular I love um, it just makes my skin look really beautiful covers everything up but it's not heavy and cakey uh, if I use this I prefer to use this with a sponge so I will just blend it out with a sponge just give myself a good base not um, overly um, high coverage by using the sponge it you know shears it out a little bit and I just, I really like it. It doesn't make me look dry, it doesn't bunch up anywhere. It's just, I really like this foundation. It's my favorite. And then for concealer, well first for um, corrector, I would go with the Ulta. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite. I only have two correctors. I have the Ulta one, and then I have the LA Colors, the peach corrector. The packaging on that is terrible. I hate it. It was like in a little squeeze thing but then it squeezes out into like a weird paintbrush looking applicator. I hated it and I actually depotted that and put it into another um, like a doe foot applicator style tubing um, but because that's just so impractical and I wouldn't do that for the rest of my life I decided to go with the Ulta one I like the packaging um, covers my correct you know my under eyes pretty well and you know it's just a basic under eye corrector now for concealer, I was a little bit torn. I have two favorites. Um, number one is the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade, what is it? C2, I believe, right? Where's the shade? C2. And then the Liquid Camouflage by Catrice. So I think they're both great. They both have really good coverage. The Camouflage, at first, when I first got it, I didn't like it. Um, I just I didn't like it and then the more I used it I actually really love this this one's actually pretty it's honest pretty much done um, so I'm gonna be decluttering this after this one but I kept it for this video purpose and then the conceal and define I really love this one as well um, this is another one where it's hit or miss for people some people love it some people hate it I think most people probably hate it but I'm one that loves it so I ended up going with the revolution for a couple reasons number one the liquid Catrice has just the worst smell 
It smells, it's heavily perfumed. It smells like paint thinner. It's, I don't understand why they would put fragrance in this. And if it's a chemical smell, then that's even worse because that means there's harmful chemicals in here. I couldn't deal with this concealer with this scent for the rest of my life if this was the only concealer I could use. So the reason I went with this one is number one, I love the coverage. It doesn't have that terrible smell. Just smells very basic. I mean, it, it smells like, you know, it smells like makeup, but it's not heavily scented the way this is. And another thing that I wrote, number one, you know, it goes hand in hand with the foundation. I like that. But also, um, in a pinch, you could even travel with this because it is high coverage. And you could, if you got your skin tone color, like if I wanted to use this as a foundation, I would go up to C3. And you can use it as foundation, um, you know, in a pinch. Like if you don't want to travel with this giant, you know, foundation bottle, just travel with this. And you could use it as your foundation. You could use it with your as your concealer. It's really good coverage. It looks great on the skin. It's not cakey. I just, I really like it. So I got concealer all over my finger. Okay, so what's next? So next for powder. Okay, I cheated a little bit and I chose two powders um, for a reason. Um, my under eye powder would be Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Um, it's not mattifying. It's got a very soft, like luminosity to it, which I really like. My under eyes are dry and crepey, and the rest of my skin is more oily, but my under eyes are more dry. And so I need something that's not mattifying under my eyes. So I would choose the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Now for the rest of my face, I would choose the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, the pressed powder in color transparent, translucent. I love this stuff. I use it all over my face. Um, just gives me a nice smooth finish. It's not dry and cakey on me. Um, it does have coverage, so I also use it to pinpoint wherever I place concealer, like pinpoint. Because um, when I use my concealer, I d I'm sure if you've watched my Get Ready's with me, you've figured this out. I do my under eyes, and then I just pinpoint where I have red spots. I don't, you know, put it all over my face. I don't highlight with it. I simply just use it to correct. So when I use this, you know, I set my whole face with it, but then it has a little bit of coverage and I'm able to pinpoint, you know, wherever I place that concealer. Now the last few weeks, I have been experimenting with this under my eyes because I've been trying to, you know, streamline my, you know, routines, trying to see if I can, you know, weed out products that I don't need. But it just, it doesn't look great, you guys. My under eyes just look dry and cakey. They're just, it's not, not pretty. So that's why I would cheat and pick two. If I could only pick one, you know, for the purpose of this video, I can't, you know, have for two different areas, I would go with the Fit Me and I would just, you know, make it work. All right, so for bronzer. Okay, so my number one that I would pick is the number seven bronzer in the shade Golden Sand. This is just the perfect color for me. It's the perfect undertone. It's matte, which, you know, it's nice. Um, it looks really nice on the skin. It's easy to find. You can get it at um, Target. I think it used to be at Ulta, but they got rid of it. So the only place I've ever really seen it is Target and I believe CVS has it. I'm pretty sure CVS has it too. But a very, very, very close second would be the Bare Minerals, the Invisible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. I've been using this for a couple months. It's a new purchase to me, um, but I really like it. It's got a very nice, um, subtle luminosity to it. Um, it's just really beautiful on the skin, but I haven't had this long enough to really say, oh, it's you know my favorite, that's what I would use forever. Um, very close though. Um, someday I probably would say that this is my favorite, but I'm still in that, you know, testing it out, not testing it out necessarily, but I'm still in that phase where you know, I'm learning, you know, to love it, you know. So for blush, um, I was torn between two. I went with the Milani Baked, one of my choices was the Milani Baked, um, what are these called, like Baked Powder Blush, specifically in the shade Berry Amour. I think these are really nice, um, they're beautiful, they have like a soft satin sheen to them. This one, I chose this one um, simply because it's just the most flattering shade. It's universal. You could use it, you know, for whatever, you know, look you're going with. 
and it's just really beautiful. It has a really nice, soft sheen to it. Really nice. And then I was torn between the Essence Satin Touch blush in this shade Satin Love in particular. This one looks like nothing in the pan, but when you get it on your skin, it's so pigmented, it's so beautiful, it's very long lasting. Those two are actually pretty similar. This one I would say has like a tiny touch more pink to it maybe, and this one's a tiny touch more brownish maybe. Um, but really, really beautiful. It's like $2 at Ulta. It's really easy to find. In the end, I surprisingly went with the Essence. Um, I think it's just beautiful. It's long lasting. Like I said, it's $2. Not necessarily easy to find because um, you can only get it at Ulta. I've never seen Essence. Or maybe Essence is at Target too. Or it used to be. I'm not sure. Um, the Milani is definitely easier to get a hold of because it's at Target. It's at Walmart. It's, you know, all the drugs, all the drugstores. But in the end, I went with the S's. I think it's beautiful. I really like the color. I think it's, you know, flattering. Um, and sp specifically, they only have two colors. I wish they would come out with more. People have been begging them for more colors because everyone loves these. Um, but I just, I think it's a great blush. Okay, so for highlighter, I went with Becca. I have a little mini. I have the small ones. I love these little small ones. They're so cute. I went with Becca Moonstone. So I really like the formula on this. This shade is beautiful. This is my favorite highlighter. You can bling it up if you want to. Um, I like to just do it more like a more natural highlight. I don't like, you know, to be blinding from the stars. But I really love this. I love the formula and this is just my perfect color. It matches my skin perfectly. It's not too dark. It's not too like icy. Um, you know, like they say, pale skin, you know, you should go with like a icy white. I don't love icy whites. I like them. I have them. Like I have Becca's Pearl, but I prefer a more neutral skin color and Moonstone is perfect for me. Now, if I'm being practical about it and you know, if I can cheat for this video, I would choose a palette and I would choose the Revolution, the Soph by Soph palette. Um, I think the quality on this is really good it's only like twelve dollars you get two four six you get eight different um, highlighters so for practical purposes which is the whole point of this video I would choose the palette um, not saying the quality is as good as Becca but it is good I would choose a palette simply because there's just a lot more options in here you can use this for your inner corner you have these more um, like fun colored ones if you wanted to play around with. So for practical purposes, I would choose the palette. If that's cheating and I can only choose one single item, I would go with Becca Moonstone. All right, so should I do eyes and then lips? Yeah, let's do eyes first. Okay, so for eye primer, I don't have a primer that I necessarily love as my holy grail. Um, I think I would choose the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I had to declutter it though because it was getting old and separated so I don't have it on hand. But if I could only choose one for the rest of my life, I think I would repurchase that one. Um, currently, my drugstore primer is the Milani, which I don't love. It's not my favorite primer. I like it, but I don't love it. So actually, leave me suggestions down in the comment section on your guys' favorite Holy Grail drugstore primer. But my Holy Grail glitter primer that I use anytime I'm using any kind of you know shimmery, glittery eyeshadow is the NYX Glitter Primer. This stuff is so good, you guys. It makes your shadows stick. They don't fall. It's perfect. I love this stuff. If you've never used this, definitely go out and get it because this stuff is amazing. It's a few bucks. You can get it, you know, anywhere. Anywhere where they sell NYX. Target. Um, Walmart now actually is carrying NYX. I was really surprised. I saw my Walmart anyways. Had like a whole display of NYX. I was like really surprised. So definitely that would be my eye primer. Okay, so... For eyeshadows, you guys, this was very hard for me. Um, I have a two-part answer. So my initial gut reaction, this is what I would do if I could only have one palette for the rest of my life. So I really love single shadows. I think they're an amazing way to get exactly what you want, the exact formula you want, the exact colors you want. So my initial reaction is that I have several um, single palettes, single eyeshadow palettes. I have this big one from Adept, Adept Cosmetics, that's the double-sided palette. 
and this is where I store like my colored palette so it has all my colors it has um, browns and neutrals down at the bottom it goes into gold like um, my greens my golds my pinks and then my pinks down here and then it goes into my purples and then into my grays and then my blues so if I could like if I could choose single shadows I would take all my palettes that I have like my browns my neutrals I have other green palettes and then I have like my specialty palettes where it's got like um, high intense like glittery metallic duochrome type shadows and I would reconfigure this I would take a mixture from all my favorite ones and I would just make my ultimate perfect single palette that's what I personally would do now for the purpose of this video I feel like that's probably cheating and I should pick an actually made palette so just know that this is what I would actually do in real life, like if this was real life. For the purpose of this video, I decided to choose a palette. Now the first thing that popped into my head was, oh, well my favorite palette at the moment is Jeffree Star, the Alien palette. So initially I was like, okay, well that's what I would choose. The formula is amazing, I love these colors, very fun, um, just a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, I love the packaging, I think it's so cute. I just, I love this palette at the moment, it's my favorite palette. But then I started thinking, well, the whole purpose of this video is to be practical. So if I can only have one palette for the rest of my life, I can only use that palette. I would need more options than what's in this palette. Yes, I love this palette. It's beautiful. It's got a gold. It's got a green. It's got one purple. It's got some grays. Um, it's got beautiful metallics. But it just doesn't have enough variety for the rest of my life. So I decided to go with the Zodiac. The original by BH Cosmetics. I mean, I'm not comparing the quality of this palette to Jeffree Star's quality. Jeffree Star's quality, of course, is better. It's, you know, high-end palette. But the quality on this is amazing for drugstore. I mean, it's not tip really drugstore because you can't... Well, yeah, I guess. You can go to Ulta and buy this, so I guess it can be considered drugstore. But, you know, typically you'd have to go online and buy most of, you know, BH's products. But the reason I chose this is because it has a ton of variety. I've got all these purples, I've got a pink, I've got a beautiful black and a beautiful gray. It's got brown, two browns, it's got this beautiful warm color orange, it's got this beautiful green, and then it has this, you know, darker, I wouldn't say the skin tone color, um, my skin tone color. It's more like just a soft, like a saddle brown maybe, is that kind of color you would call that? Um, nice transition color for, you know, crease color for browns. And then it has all these beautiful, beautiful baked glitter shimmers um, today I'm wearing in the crease I'm wearing the pink and then in the outer I did somewhat I did a, like a I did a halo eye it is a halo eye. I was gonna say it's somewhat of a halo eye but it is a halo eye because I did end up connecting it um, I'm wearing this one and then on the lid as a shimmer I'm wearing Leo so you have you have this gold this gold you guys Aquarius which is my um, birthstone I mean my um, my sign. This Aquarius color, you guys, was made for me. Like, look at this color, you guys. Oh, look at that! That beautiful greeny gold is just amazing. Um, these. Let me swatch one of these mattes. Let's swatch the orange one. Like, look at that, you guys. Such good quality, and there's just so many options, which is why. I would end up going with this and then you have that beautiful highlight uh, I wouldn't say it's beautiful it's it's okay the highlighter in the middle it's nice um, it's not the best inner corner highlighter I've ever seen but for practical reasons and for variety I would choose this palette I think the quality is great and I would be happy using this palette for the rest of my life so um, just for fun I decided to also pick an eye topper and I went with, ooh, I went with the ColourPop, these Jelly Much, um, they're called Jelly Much Shadows. Um, in particular, I decided to go with Big Ego. Big Ego, yes. I think this is beautiful. Um, I know these Jelly Much Shadows, I've heard they dry out really quickly. So you have to really use them. Like, you have to use them quickly. But look at that, that's so pretty. So I would use this as my topper, just, you know, for fun, 
occasions. Um, I like all their jelly much toppers that I've gotten. Um, I think they're all beautiful. Um, so for formula, I would choose the ColourPop Jelly Much. If I could only just pick, you know, one color in particular, I would go with the Big Ego just because I really love purple and I think that's just a really beautiful topper. Okay, so for mascara, I went ahead and went with the Voluminous Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Um, this one's actually um, on its last leg, so I used it today. And then I'm going to declutter it because it's getting pretty old, so I'm going to put it in my declutter bag. I like it, it's easy to find, it's drugstore, makes my lashes look really nice, I'm not overly crazy, um, which is how I like my mascara. I don't like, you know, crazy spidery mascara, um, it separates my lashes, my lashes don't look, you know, clumpy, um, I really like it. So I would choose that just because it's easy to get. I don't buy high-end mascaras, I use high-end mascaras when BoxyCharm sends them, but I would never buy a high-end mascara, so that's why I went with the L'Oreal. Okay, so for lips, okay, so this was a little hard for me, you guys. I narrowed it down to two brands, to two formulas. I couldn't just say, okay, this is the color I would choose, color formula, everything for the rest of my life. Because I, I need like a mauve pink and I need a red. So I decided to narrow it down to formula. And then I'll tell you if I had to choose, which I guess you know what I would go with. So the two formulas I ended up going with, um, number one, my choice, my options, um, number one would be ColourPop the Lippy Sticks. Not their liquid lips, not their, I don't like the ones that come in the wand. In particular, I really like their Lippy Sticks. Um, my go-to neutral, like mauve from ColourPop, is Gold Digger. This is just a really beautiful mauve pink. I like the formula. These aren't overly drying. Um, they wear nicely throughout the day. So when they wear off, you know, they don't get like that weird ring around your lips. It just wears nicely. And then my red of choice would be called Trust Me. And this is my perfect red. I love it. I like the shape of them because I can get around the lip easy. Um, I just, I really like their lippy sticks. Um, they have a lot of variety. You could, you know, Get them at Ulta now, you can get them online. There's tons and tons to choose from. They're inexpensive, they're like $6. I just, I really like these. And then my other option was something that I've been loving recently. I've just started like getting into them and I already have like seven of them. And it is the Sephora Cream Lip Stains. My mauve of choice would be the color 13, the shade number 13. Now the thing about Ulta's uh, um, Sephora's these lip stains on their product they only put the number but if you go to the display and you see like their big display it has the number and the shade name so I don't know why they don't put the shade names on these but this is number 13 and then this for my red is number 01 and I'm pretty sure this is called always red um, I love these you guys these are so so good I like the doe foot applicator it's a stain it does stain your lips and it does not budge you put them on your lips and it doesn't go anywhere you can eat you can drink yes you'll get a little transfer as you're you know eating and drinking but at the end of the the very end of the evening I still have color on my lips um, but in particularly what I love about these like let me use the red as an example you can put a little swatch on your hand and you know dab into it and then you can dab it onto your lips and you can get just a sheer wash of color like a stain. Or you can build it up and do completely opaque. I think these are so good, I love these. Um, these two would be like my choices for color. Um, they're $14 a piece, so they are pricey. So that's part of, you know, I had to choose between what I want, the inexpensive lippy six, or what I want that come in a lot of colors and that's, you know, nice, nice formula that wears off nicely. Or would I want something that I can multi-purpose? I can wear it as a stain. I can wear it fully opaque. It's not going to budge. It's not going to go anywhere. In the end, I decided to go with the formula Sephora. These are amazing. I love them. Yes, they're expensive. They're $14, but they're amazing. Today I'm wearing the shade 13. Now, if I had to choose just a color and I couldn't do, <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't do a formula, like for the purpose of this video, you have to pick one. 
I went with the neutral because um, the neutral is just gonna match things more, you know, better than a red. So that's my choice. Sephora lip stain in number 13. And then to for gloss, because um, you know, everyone needs a gloss um, for fun. I went with um, ColourPop Fairy Floss. It's just a basic soft pink. I'm wearing it over these because this is a lip stain, so they do dry down. So I like to have something on top. Um, I don't love this wand. I would prefer that it was, you know, like a doe foot applicator. Um, but, you know, I think it's a really nice gloss. Um, a lot of people love this gloss. I think it's just a nice basic pink gloss. Um, it's sheer enough that you could wear it over any color and it's just going to add like a gloss. It's not going to full on make your red, you know, pink if you do a line of hand. Now, if I'm being realistic about it, I wouldn't even need a gloss. I would just need a good chapstick. And, you know, this is boring. That's not fun to say a chapstick. So that's why I did the gloss. But I would just go with like a basic Burt's Bee. And then to top my face off, I would then set my face again with my skin and area. All right, guys. So that was everything. Um, these are all the products that I would pick if I could only choose one from each category. Um, let me go know down below what you guys would choose. Um, would it be your actual holy grail or would it be like a more practical choice? I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.